Hi everyone, what actually is an ecosphere and how does it work anyway? That's what I will explain today. One of the most important things to keep in mind when you make an ecosphere is that it gets enough sunlight because the sun is the main energy source for the ecosphere. Sunlight provides the algae and the plants that are in the ecosphere with energy, which they use to grow and produce oxygen and nutrients. Animals breathe the oxygen. Animals such as cherry shrimp. Yes, this is how I draw a cherry shrimp. Deal with it. And crustaceans like Daphnia and copepods and also snails. Yes, this is how I draw a snail. Deal with it. The critters breathe out carbon dioxide, which the plants and algae use to grow. But these aren't the only living organisms in an ecosphere. No, no. There are also countless of bacteria, which are decomposers. They decompose the waste from animals in the form of poop and dead bodies. They also produce carbon dioxide and use oxygen, as well as decomposing dead plants and algae. While the bacteria are decomposing, they turn all the organic waste into inorganic and nutritious substances, which in turn the plants and algae use to grow. So now we wind up with a complete cycle in the ecosphere. The only thing added from outside the jar is the energy from the sun in the form of light. When you make an ecosphere you want to use an airtight jar, or at least a failed attempt at a jar. You want to make sure to have some air in a jar, as well as some substrate in the form of dirt or gravel. It's nice to have some oxygen stored in the air bubble while your ecosphere gets going, and it's also one of the places where the gases exchange. The glass or plastic from the jar is a place where algae will grow, as well as in the water and the substrate. If you add a leaf or a rock in the ecosphere, it will act as a place where algae can attach. The substrate will also act as a storage for nutrients for the plants to grow and a place where their roots will grow. And again, you need to make sure it gets enough sunlight. I hope I learned you something about how a closed ecosystem works. Of course, this is still an oversimplification, but it's pretty accurate. I would like to thank you for watching and if you want to see more videos like this, well, you're going to have to subscribe.